In one of the last videos, we took a look at the division of air ducts into section and delivery length. Based on this, we will now look at the automatic assignment of item numbers in the same example. Three different number ranges are available in the linear construction design workflow for assigning item numbers. Each of these number ranges is written to the respective component as a separate parameter. Of course, the parameters can also be renamed and mapped to other parameters using the Linear Parameter Manager. By selecting the mode, you define the type of numbering used for different use cases. This also automatically results in the most suitable selection type so that you can proceed as quickly as possible. Further distinctions can be made within a number range by specifying a prefix. For example, you can easily distinguish between individual plants. All other setting options such as increments, subnumbers or postfix would be too much to show in this video but are clearly explained within the linear help. Now let's come to the practical use of assigning item numbers. We will look at three use cases today. Let's start by numbering components with type numbers so that each component can be uniquely identified and quickly found later on the construction site. When assigning the numbers, identical components should also receive identical numbers, whereby we assign the item numbers in such a way that we could generate two component lists, one for the supply air and one for the return air system. To do this, we select according to item type as the mode and enter SUP as the prefix for the supply air system. Now we select the entire supply air system and start the command. As you can see, 245 item numbers have been assigned. We do the same with the return air system, changing the prefix here accordingly to RET for return air. We start again with number one, select the entire return air system and execute the command. Now 290 item numbers have been automatically assigned. Let's have a look at these in the properties. Here we now find the assigned item numbers at the parameter and recognize here that these two identical bands in the supply air system receive the same number as desired. On the other hand, the same band family in the return air system got its own number like all other different components. This distinction worked through our generic algorithm, which checked whether two instances of the same family and type differ relevantly enough from each other to then receive different item numbers. So no special families or manual distinctions are necessary for this. But what happens now when components are added or removed? To maintain the consistency of the item numbers, you can update existing numbers at any time. So for example, if we duplicate and connect one of the outlets here, we have the option of checking the item numbers. If an issue is detected during the check, it will appear in the issues and task. And as we can see here, the new components have been detected and indicated that no item numbers have been assigned here yet. We can resolve this by restarting the command with the maintain existing numbers option enabled. Now 295 numbers have been assigned, whereby the components that have already been processed have retained their item numbers and the added components have been given new numbers or were assigned to existing item numbers accordingly. The next use case example is the identification of component groups. For example, for prefabrication or assignment to specific areas. For this, we use our own number range with a circle B and can be set here in the control board. We change the mode to sectional because we will select the elements manually. As prefix, we use section in this case and execute the command. First, I select the last two air outlets here and then in the second step, the two outlets before. If we now take a look at these two T pieces, for example, we can see that they have been assigned to the desired section via the second item number parameter. Finally, let's take a look at the element by element assignment of item numbers. For example, you can identify active components that are electrically powered or controlled. For this, we again use our own number range. In this case, the circle C, select the element by element mode and take FM as prefix to mark the components that need regular maintenance by the facility management. After starting the command, we can now select the components element by element and see again in the properties that each component gets its own item number, which in this case is the third one of this component. 
Based on this number, the components can now be optimally transferred to a maintenance list, for example. This is how easy you implement item numbers with Linear. That's workflow instead of workaround.